guys after a longer time vacation and summertime and rest time and I'm back at work and I have a project small project uh, countertop to build which I did it uh, on request our client client wanted from Korean so I use the Korean Meganite material I put this uh, small countertop for two uh, sinks in one commercial space so i put it together i don't want to explain it now how it was it but i cut it i trim it made a jig now i want to just demonstrate how to make the nice and uh, shiny surface this surface here you can see against the light it's really dull come over here and turn your camera against the light so like that let me see yeah you can see that it's kind of dull or dull i would say now i want it to polish the process i'm polishing is to using my uh, fast tool rotex three inch diameter and using uh, dust extractor with the hepa filter because the dust of it is not really good for your lungs now uh, material is not very hard but it's very resistant to chemicals resistant to soap water all kind of dirt but it's not very resistant to it's sandable that's what i wanted to say so first i wanted to say that uh, material was covered with the film took the film off and i sand it off everything with the sanding disc number grid number 220 i should use probably three or four hundred but 220 is for the first cut is okay okay so i went it all over this first part is done now it's coming most important part which is buffing of surface now i'm using a 3m sanding pad and it's a ultra fine ultra fine scotch bright uh, how you call it sanding finishing or something like that okay so that's the ultra fine scotch bright scotch scotch brick okay so i cut the round to to catch it on my disc as a velcro and going to use the polishing cream that's the compound using for uh, for uh, cars to polish and i want to show you how it works it works very nice uh, but it takes time also okay so don't rush you cannot rush you can buff it like as long as you want to but it's all right to okay send it down by 220 needs to be wipe up first and uh, i'm going to put a few drops here of the compound that's enough And using the pad so I'm going to turn it on a higher speed not vibrating but rotating more likely and start to buffing
I can see some results as you come against the light you can you can see it to compare this part is shiny and this is still dull shiny shiny I don't know if you can see come over here maybe like that and now you have two surfaces up here is dull and from here over here it's nice and shiny you can feel it touch it feel it you can feel it okay you can see here you can see it and you can even smell it nice okay guys this is it so the whole thing will gonna take me much longer time but this is just for demonstration uh, one more thing I can tell you I just do, did two steps 220 grit uh, sanding and right away uh, scotch bright ultra fine but you can use also in between after 220 sanding paper sandpaper with uh, 800 grit which I'm gonna use it here probably it's speedy that pro uh, buffing process so 220 or 300 320 then 800 and then ultra bright scotch sanding don't forget to use for the buffing to use the ultimate compound for uh, for a cars which I'm using it here so that's all for now and uh, I am really happy to see you guys again here and give me a thumb and subscribe thank you have a good day